All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. Before we get started, we'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukakadash. Let you get double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the full comes earth, pushing this word and all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. And you know, as a brother Kazatba, you know, just come back with another quick lesson through the spirit part of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And uh, today's lesson is basically going to be uh, upon why we give our apostles and elders great millstone, you know, double honors, okay? You know, because there's a spirit going around on that you're not supposed to give uh, men their proper credit or, you know, uh, due to what they've been doing for the Lord, okay? When the scriptures say otherwise, okay? All right? And the uh, scripture I want to get is, a brother, could you get uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 17 for me, brother? Mm -hmm. You know, because the scriptures say otherwise, while there's a spirit going around that, you know, men are saying that you're not supposed to, you know, give that men their credit, okay? You're supposed to, you know, acknowledge the men that are, you know, pushing forth this word in sincerity and truth. And the scriptures say so. So you can go ahead and read that, bro. Yep, yeah, it said, it, yeah, brother, and it said worthy, okay? Now, when you look up that word worthy in Antimon Dictionary, which I have right here, it says to be counted with merit, somebody that has merit, okay? And when you look up the word merit, it means spiritual credit, okay? Merit literally means spiritual credit, something that you've earned, okay? All right? You know, spiritual credit goes into honor, Okay? You know, and honor goes into what? Fame earned. Okay? So, do the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, they've been accounted worthy through their works. They have spiritual credit with the Lord that the Lord has given them fame. Okay? And the scriptures talk about that what? We're going to have fame. <clears throat> Starting off with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, to the men of down like us, we're going to have fame. And the land that we're go that we were gonna be put to shame in, okay, and all the lands that we we're gonna be put to shame to, which is Babylon the Great, you know, and these other heathen nations where Jake is scattered, okay, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, we're gonna have fame in those lands, the men of the Lord, all right, you know, by what preaching this word, okay, brother, quickly, can we get a uh, Zephaniah three and nineteen, and then we'll go back to that, mm -hmm. you know. Because what? The Lord said that he was going to give us fame in every land that we put to shame. And mainly here in America is where the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American has put to, be put to shame the most. Okay? Yeah, and that's going to be old to me. What the scriptures talk about how the remnant of the nation of Israel is going to be the ones that's delivered, you know, from the noise of the archers, okay? Which is the thermonuclear missiles that's going to be mainly hitting this place, America, okay? You know, the Lord is going to save his elect that's been driven out throughout the four corners of the earth. And it says, what else, bro? Keep on reading. And I will give them, and I will give them praise and fame in every land. You know, in every land that we've been put to shame, all right, mainly here in Babylon the Great, aka America, the Lord's gonna give us praise and fame. Okay, now that word honor literally means fame earned. Okay, so it's not just any just you just get fame from doing nothing like people like these wicked people do in America for doing uh oh, folly, but we've actually earned our fame. Do what preaching this word okay that's why that you know going back to what we had you know when it said double honors to give double honors to the, the uh elders that rule well that's why we say you know you know giving double honors to our apostles and the elders a great millstone who rule well 
because the scriptures say give them that um that double honor that they're worthy of that they work forward to okay so now go back to uh the first timothy bro mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's being shown that what these guys are not reading the scriptures because if they read the scriptures they would know they were supposed to you know give credit where credit is due okay and through the spirit you know our our apostles and elders to the men on down like us okay you know been doing this and it's been a legacy that's been passed down okay you know the pit this word first and be instant in season out of season to keep on pushing this word no matter what okay and only the apostle elders of great millstone have been found to be what doing so so this is why we give double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone and the men on down okay you know because they're the ones that's in season out of season preaching this word okay go ahead read deborah it says first timothy chapter 5 verse 17 let the elders that rule really well be counted worthy of double honor mm -hmm. especially they who labor in the word and doctrine it says especially they that labor and the word and doctrine now with our apostle elders a great millstone okay they've been doing this for uh 35 to 40 years plus okay you know weekend week out you know through hell uh rain snow cold, bad weather good weather okay they've been preaching this word so they've been laboring okay so we're supposed to give double on them double honor okay you know to because why because they labored in this faith of ours okay can you get uh second timothy i believe it's four um where where it says um preach the word in season out of season go ahead go ahead brother i'm gonna start i'm gonna start at on verse one of you words one and two Eleven verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, and you know it's to the spirit, brother, because what our through our apostles and elders, they've shown that they believe. Okay, they've shown that they believe by them pushing this word, and 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 not only just pushing this word, but pushing this word consistently for years, day in and day out, weekend and week out. You know. So they show them forth their faith. Okay, can you read it, bro? Verse 2. For by it, the elders obtain a good report. By their faith, okay, and works, what they've done, okay, they obtained a good report, okay? So up in the heavens, all right, they have a great report. Because remember that word, you know, um, worthy goes into spiritual credit. They have spiritual credit with the Lord, okay? You know, because they've been laboring in this word, okay? They've obtained a good report with Yahweh by Hashem Shai, and this is why we're following these men and doing the same. Didn't Paul said, what, be a father, follow of me because I'm a follower of Lord Yahweh Shai? Okay? Mm -hmm. You know? And still to this day, what, his name is being talked about. He's a household name. That's honor. You know? The Lord's having those men have fame for what? Preaching and pushing forward the Lord's doctrine, okay? You know? Now, uh, brother, can you go to Second Timothy real fast, brother? Mm -hmm. Four, I believe it was four and two. Uh, for the instant, in season, out of season. That's right, in season, out of season, okay? You know, and that's what our apostles and elders have been doing, okay? This is the reason why we have the word, okay? Go ahead, bro. It says reprove, which they have done. Okay, what else? Rebuke, okay? All right, which they also have done. Keep on reading. Well, exhort, which means to motivate us 
with all long suffering and doctrine. Okay, you know, they've been laboring in his work and now they have fruit. Okay, they have fruit now, and that's what those camps, okay, throughout the four corners of the earth. You got men throughout the four corners of the earth giving what double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. The men that are leading the charge that rule well that are pushing forth this word in sincerity and truth because they believe okay this is why we give double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone it's not just a saying okay it's it's a uh, actual you know it means something okay these men have been laboring okay and they deserve that respect all right for pushing forth the the doctrine of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, as long as they had, especially in this place, Babylon, the Great America, where there's so many temptations to go off and not be, not teach the truth. Okay, so this is the reason why we give our apostles, the elders, a great mill, great millstone, double honors. Okay, because they they deserve it. Okay, they deserve the credit where you know we give credit where credit is due, and they put in the work. Okay, you know. So just want to inform brothers, you know, and a few sisters that listen, why we give double honors to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Okay, there's an actual reason, and when you say it, you know, to remember, like, look, these are the forerunners. You know, all right, in this faith, he, oh, especially in these times. Okay, and we have to respect that, uh, that, that order in the spirit. Okay, so with that, uh, anything else, bro? You, you got? Yeah, all right. So with that, a hey, until next time, you know, a hey, we'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Let us give double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of the earth pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shalom.